and today's video, let's talk about food and science. Hello, I'm Laura and I'm here in our Paspahe town to talk to you about nixtamalization, which is a big word that actually comes to us from the Nahuatl, or Mayan language, for an ancient Mesoamerican process of technology for dealing with corn. Now corn, or maize, of course, as you probably already know, was developed by the Mesoamerican people many, many thousands of years ago. And when it spread throughout the Americas, north and south, along with it came a way of processing it which we call nixtamalization. And what is it? It is a process by which you are going to change the nature of corn into a more digestible and more healthy food. Now, corn has a very hard outer layer, like a lot of grains do, that is not particularly digestible. The other problem with corn is that not all of its vitamins are accessible to your digestion either, unless you follow this ancient process. Nixtamalization is a process by which corn is boiled in a chemical solution that we would call alkali or basic. So it is like the opposite of acid, but it is going to do a similar thing. It's going to eat away at that hard outer shell of the corn, and it's going to also cause some chemical changes in the food. Now, ancient Mayan peoples did not know about the type of chemical changes. They did not know that it was making proteins and B vitamin and calcium more accessible, but they did know that it made it easier to process, it made it taste better, it made it smell better, and it even made it look better because it changed the color of the corn. So if you had a red corn, it made it an even brighter red. If you had a white corn, it made it an even paler white. So it made it better and it smelled delicious. And if you've ever eaten a really good corn chip, you know that smell I'm talking about. So when they processed this corn, they would boil the corn with an alkali solution. And there were a number of different ways they could get that. Uh, in Mesoamerica, there are a lot of limestone deposits and they would actually boil limestone rocks with the corn, which caused a slake lime solution. And this probably went back to such ancient times as before they had pottery that was robust enough to withstand the heat of a fire. And they were actually boiling their corn in watertight baskets by heating those rocks and putting them into that water. So the other way that a lot of people got an alkali solution was to use wood ashes and get lye out of those wood ashes. And that would likewise eat away at that outer layer of the corn and process it so that it was now much more digestible and tastier. As nixtamalization spread, not everybody had access to the limestone, so the Powhatan and Iroquois and many of the other North American, Native American peoples uh, were going to use the wood ash solution of lye in order to make their nixtamalization work. But it still worked great and you still ended up with a much more nutritious and delicious food product. However, you do not want to eat that nasty alkali solution. So you boil it, then you let it sit overnight and then you pour it off and rinse it very, very thoroughly. And then you have basically a puffed corn like hominy. And it is much easier to get that outer skin off. It's much easier to grind. And even more importantly to everybody who's making the 600 plus types of foods out of corn, it sticks together better. So if you've had a tortilla that crumbled or broke a corn tortilla and you're like, wow, this is, just doesn't stick together, I'm telling you, that was made with non nixtamalized corn. Because if you nixtamalize your corn, it makes the starches kind of gelatinized and it also makes the proteins hang on to each other. And so when you grind that together and you make the tamal, the, the dough, it 
acts almost as if it has gluten, which we know corn does not. And it holds together better, so you can make your tamales, your tortillas, um, your pozole, everything that you want to make with your corn so much better because it's now not going to crack, it's not going to tear as easily, and it also is going to taste a whole lot better. Unfortunately for Europeans, when they came and got corn and took it back to Europe and to Africa and further eventually to Asia, they did not take mixed alimentation with them and neither did colonial people living here in America. And so they had a problem. If you were having more than 50% of your food come from corn, you might end up with a disease they called pellagra, which is basically a B vitamin deficiency. So today, scientists have sort of rediscovered mixed alimentation, and they are working with it to not only spread the process throughout the world to improve nutrition from corn, but they're also experimenting with other grains like sorghum and rye so that they can see how it improves their nutrition for a benefit to everybody in the world. Hey, leave a comment and like and subscribe.